I mean, it's the same exact, like, I think they just sold the same disc twice. It appears to be it. <laughs> I guess we'll see the flight, but they don't look any different. Wow. All right, hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Highly anticipated video here. The Watt versus the Ohm. How could they even be different? They look pretty close. So 25, negative 0.5, 0 0.5. Then we have 2501. So I mean, to me, that's the same thing. Yeah. But again, every time we talk about finish line flight numbers, I'm like, bro, I don't even know what that <laughs> yeah. means. But like just reading these two, since they have the numbers on them, and the shape, I mean, it's the same exact, like, I think they just sold the same disc twice. It appears to be it. <laughs> I guess we'll see the flight, but they don't look any different to but me. But I think also, like, when companies pick flight numbers, like, I have you pick them for finish line, because, like, you're yeah. a better representation of flight numbers for the normal customer. Sure. So, like, whoever's making these flight numbers probably isn't throwing the disc at 70 miles an hour. No. So it's like, how can anyone tell 0.5 on a disc? Like, I know I certainly can't. Like, if you give no. me a eagle and a... Thunderbird or a composite era or whatever, yeah. it's like you you could notice speed. Like I've noticed that. Yeah. Like one speed, like a wraith to a destroyer. Yeah. You could notice like that one number. Yeah. But when it comes to like turn and glide, like yeah. I mean, have you ever honestly noticed like one number difference? I mean, one number no, and, and half number certainly definitely not. no. Yeah. I mean, I think you'd have to be like the most tuned in player ever. Yeah. And like this be like your only disc you ever throw. Yep. And then you get this and you're like, oh, it's a little more this for yeah. me. But I think if you're just like, like I use this instead of throwing sidearm. Yep. I think that like this should still turn right for me at like my power level okay. and also my skill level. Yeah. Like if I want to make a disc go right, I might just have to throw it on a little more Anheuser or yep. whatever, which means that this might be better for the wind. Yeah. So maybe I have a sidearm disc uh, and then a windy sidearm disc. <laughs> yeah. But... These guys look like they're trying to play this hole. Oh. So we'll get out of the way and then we'll throw these. Let's do it. We got the watt, which, and again, this hole is just like 200 feet. We haven't thrown yet. So we're just trying to get a little feel for her. But <clears throat> really like this disc. And I assume that this will be its twin if we, uh, if this continues. So right there by the flight numbers, this one would have hyzered out and went in the chains. Let's see. There it is. Oh, those discs go far. Yeah. And I've got a watt. I haven't really messed with this a, a whole lot, but it is all the hype. Cool little stamp. Oh, looks like you messed with it enough. I tried. I, I do, I will say that I've thrown this watt a pretty good amount and the ohm is like beyond brand new. So that might lend to a little bit more of its stability if there is a difference, um, is that this has probably been thrown a couple hundred times and this is new, so. And it's already a more understable or straight disc. That thing's so good. It is good. It just like goes dead straight. Okay, that is a more stable disc. So I was making fun of the 0.5, this, like, it's, it is more stable. But what, what makes that not be a two fade? Well, someone's perception. That's what, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, that, that same shot you just threw with the ohm is like Going, kaisering out. Yeah. I'm going to go ohm first on this one. Just because I think that throwing like the more stable disc first will kind of give me a little more of a hint. So the last hole, I kind of tried to match the same flight and I just went left. So see if we could throw it just like dead straight at the second palm tree. I'm not convinced they're different. I don't know, they both fly good. That's, yeah. It's pretty tough to like say one way or the other. Don't slip. Yeah, I know. I don't know how. Just slipping and falling out here. A 
little turn, too much turn. Too much sauce. Very much. Marcus, you don't you don't throw the watt or the ohm or anything, right? No, I don't throw either of them in the bag right now. He's too cool. <laughs> Not that. He's <laughs> he's got too much steez to throw someone's catch disc. No, I think that the the watt initially caught my attention because obviously I was a huge fan of the glitch, which I still am, but it's just now that I have the watt, it, I really don't have much of like a use for it anymore. Um, because the Glitch kind of flew similar in the sense of like it was like a cheater backhand sidearm disc for me. And then the watt is just more like wind resistant, feels more like a actual disc versus like a catch disc or a dog disc or whatever. Yeah. So I switched to watt. And then now I think that having like the watt and the ohm, if I'm able to learn the ohm a little bit better, um, I think would be like a good addition to the bag. And then Marcus is just going to keep throwing the... Envy, what do you th pace? What do you? Throw? I have the I have the glitch, and I, I kind of thought of, to throw the wad in there for a little bit more, I guess like wind resistance or torque resistance. But the glitch that I end up having is like is super torque resistant. It's lighter weight, so it ends up for me it stays in the air a little bit better. Where the wad, I feel like I got to give it a little bit more. So I don't know. I got to mess with it. It's a, it's a fun disc. It's good to throw. I'm just I'm finding like my glitch to be pretty stable right now. Okay. So that's the only reason why I have it in there. But I don't hate it. Yeah, I mean, they're good. Uh, the Glitch is a good disc. The Watt and the Ohm obviously are proving to be pretty good discs. And I think I'm one of the only, like from my standpoint, the only like top level players like really bagging the Watt. Because when I met up with Simon for Vlogmas, he was kind of shocked that I <laughs> was using the Watt. So let's get a few more throws in here and hopefully by the end of the video, we can give you a more distinct answer on what the hell the difference is between these two discs. Watt. Are we going to throw it in or what? No, threw it in the water. Just kidding. This is the best shot anyone's <laughs> ever seen. Well, I thought I threw that halfway into the pond. Well, you did. Yeah, I did. If that was like a normal putter, it would have went halfway in the pond. Yeah. But that's the worst ace run you've ever seen. Well, it wasn't an ace run. Uh, well, in my <laughs> heart and mind, it was, but. So in theory, the ohm goes in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, right here. Yeah, it might just be the beat upness of my pink one, but they are a little different. Bust this guy. Got a little tailwind. Should help. <clears throat> halfway. Meet me halfway. <laughs> I, can, I still could make the man though. Yeah, it's easy. All right, ohm first. I think that Marcus and I were just kind of talking about it. On like full power, we we're kind of thinking these are similar, or not full power, but on a 300 foot hole, they're similar to where I think that on that little like touch shot of the water, the watt is just gonna stay a little, sh I think that's where the, the one versus the 0.5 might make a difference is when it's at lower speed. Yeah, because the watt there would like would have stood up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. So there's your difference. The ohm is gonna kind of go and like just hold the line. It's not gonna really go left, but throw it on hyzer. It's kind of just gonna finish on a hyzer where the watt's gonna kind of start on hyzer and kind of flip up and give you that like dead straight flight. So there is a difference. Yeah. You can see it in that one for sure. Also, y'all, make sure to head over to Marcus's channel, CatMax7, and subscribe. Still, Basket Giveaway is still live. Yeah, still live. And so, we're only, we're like less than 300 subs away now. Okay, so if you guys go to Marcus's channel and you subscribe, you're going to be automatically entered into his Basket Giveaway. So, I say we, but he's giving away an MVP, like Dark Hole or Black Hole, whatever the thing's called basket so at a thousand subscribers that's what he's giving away so join over go over to marcus's channel please please, please. please. <laughs> and uh you know join his adventure here on youtube and you know you could be rewarded with a couple hundred dollar basket just for clicking a button bro there's a canal over here and you're giving me the stable guy i think i can do it
I've seen better and I've seen worse. Here, you yeah. try that one too. I mean, this one would have would have win. It is more stable. Yeah, I mean, look at that. Like, yeah, it's definitely the the ohm is definitely like more stable. Yeah. Even if like, I feel like the numbers on the ohm should be more depictive of that because I feel like on every shot I've thrown, it's went way more left than the watt. And again, my watt's not brand new, but yours is. Yeah. I feel like the the watt should be like minus one turn. Maybe you say like 0.5, you know, on the stability side, but that one's probably closer to like zero and like one point five. Yeah, or, or two like, maybe. So that way it's like. It's you're, you're talking distinct. about a bigger difference. Yeah, because where... they, they look the same. Yeah. So if I were to be at home and not come out here and make these videos, I would just think, oh, I'll just keep throwing the watt because the ohm's the same disc. Yeah. But it's it's really not. So good job to MVP for actually making two different discs because I we thought it was the same thing. It looks the same, yeah. Best watt thrower in the world. What do you want from me? All right, we're going through the gap here. Hope we throw this one a little harder so you kind of can see the difference in the discs. They had a lot of like late turn yeah. kind of like straightening out. Pretty good. Best ohm thrower. <laughs> I thought you were talking about this gap at first, and I'm like, I'm oh. gonna have two frisbees after my throw. <laughs> Split in half. Oh yeah, late turn. Halfway. Yeah, Let's see, I it. think that's where like the the ohm is helpful. Yeah. Like for someone that, and I hate to say this, but like doesn't control the spin that well, yep. you know, because I think you kind of just spin them <laughs> the same That's every me. time, you know, and it's like <laughs> yeah. to make an understable disc like the watt go left, you kind of have to control this, be able to control it, you know, yeah. it's like flighting your wedges in golf or whatever, yeah. you know, so you got to be able to like control how it's flying down range. I think that's where maybe the, the ohm might be very helpful yep. for a, a lower level player or a player who's just kind of getting into competitive disc golf is like, Oh, I don't like the, the same reason people don't like the, the glitch. Yeah. Because it's like a little, a little touchy, touchy at times. Yeah, yeah. And so I think that the ohm is less touchy than the, the watt simply because it's just a little more stable. So it's a little more resistant to over torquing or over spinning it. Yeah. Kind of makes up for some like errors for somebody that's not elite level where it's like glitch to the watt. And then from the watt, I think it goes to the ohm and like, that's the progression. Yeah. And I think that it gives someone like yourself an opportunity to throw a disc like that and not have to worry about over spinning it yeah because i think that the ohm is going to handle it better yeah i agree if you guys like the watt or think you might like the watt it might be worth joining our subscription box at gibsondiscoff.com we might be having a custom stamp like signature series watt coming to you guys i said it if you're a subscriber already i didn't really spoil it but i did spoil it so sorry but if you want a watt check us out and I'm gonna try to throw it in this here yellow target with the watt. Flew nicely. Pretty good. All right, ohm, gonna have to throw it a little straighter. Oh. Metal. I got well, let, me, let me ask, so is that a disc that you, because I know you've been throwing the watt and throwing it really well, good yeah. effect. Is is that ohm something you would like think about putting in the bag as you get your bag together for the year? Yeah, so I think like on that exact shot, or like the previous hole, Yeah. you know, downhill, long, kind of a little bit of gusty wind, I think that the ohm might be a better option over the watt. Just because it's like, like we talked about, mm. the watt takes a little more like spin control and yeah. like a little more skill to throw just because it's a little less stable. So to get it all the way down there and kind of a left to right crosswind, you kind of have to like play with it more where I just kind of threw the ohm flat and straight. 
So I'd say a hole that either has wind or is like 50 feet longer. Yeah. Instead of trying to force the watt, I think the ohm might actually be like a good addition to be able to kind of fill the same shot and trust it without having to like really hyzer flip it and like take too many variables in. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I think that, I think they're both useful for the right player. Yeah. I think for some players, it's like maybe you like the ohm is better for you than the watt because yeah. it just handles torque and like overspin a little better. And then I think for some players, you know, you could use both kind of interchangeably. Like say I was going to use the watt one time on the course, but yeah. then it's like the hole is a little too long. It's like, well, just throw the ohm. Yeah. You know, because now there's another course where I need the watt five times. Yeah. Then maybe you just suck it up and, yeah. you know, you're not going to carry both probably. Like something where you might throw more pan shots, like that's where the watt, yeah. you, you bring that one. But if yeah, because you're it's going to hold right. Push. Yeah, if I want to throw it dead straight 350 feet, I might bring the, the ohm instead of the watt just because yeah. the watt might take a little too much curvature to do that. Yeah. All right. Probably outside my no effective but i'm gonna i'm gonna huck on this just oh, kidding no. i need a gnome yeah i need a gnome <laughs> <laughs> all right huge thank you to you guys for joining this video uh I, I actually ended up liking the ohm more than i thought and again think that it could be in my bag not only from tournament to tournament but also be used a lot if it's windy or anything like that so Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for a bunch more content. Also, if you've made it this far in the video, I have a bunch of sick practice rounds coming like on tour. Eagle, Gannon, hopefully Kristen Tatar, Paul McBeth, um, Katrina Allen, uh, Eagle, did I say Eagle? I don't know. Yuli. So a bunch of good, good, good practice rounds coming for you guys. Hopefully you guys can enjoy them. I greatly appreciate you guys following along. Appreciate you guys supporting Marcus. Thank you guys for tuning in. We'll see you in the next one.